Hello, it's Mark. Welcome to Scotch Sunday. Thank you for stopping by here. We're going to do a whiskey tasting here in the great outdoors of Southeast Texas in a warm February day. Today we have Glen Morangie, A Tale of Tokyo. Now this is the fourth in that series. Uh, I've done the other three, which was A Tale of uh, Winter. A t well, the first one was A Tale of what was the a tale of cake and a tale of winter and the last one was a tale of the forest. I liked tale of um, cake, which was finished in Türkei casks, I believe, which is a Hungarian dessert wine. Uh, I didn't really care for tale of um, a tale of winter, which was more solid casks, and the tale and then the, the other one, the tale of the forest, was kind of just like done for kind of ever essence and different herbs and stuff in it so anyway this is a tale of Tokyo so there is some Mizunora oak and understanding is this is the first time that that Glenmorangie ever did anything with any with Mizunora oak now Glenmorangie is a highland single malt scotch it's the most popular scotch in Scotland it means veil of big meadows veil of tranquility something depending on who you ask. Uh, they're a subsidiary of Louis Vuitton. They were founded in 18, 1843 by the brothers John, William and John Matherson. Began production in 1849. Mothballed during Prohibition, which was 1931 to 36, and during World War II, 1941 to 44. The site was originally a farm distillery just simply called Moringie. But there was evidence that distillation took place on the site, on the same site back in, into the 18th century. They have 12 stills, six wash and six spirit, the tallest stills in Scotland, which like 18 feet tall, which is like five meters or so. And they're one of the first to do cask finishes. They get their wood from and barrel, which come their, and their barrels from the Mark Twain Forest in the Ozark Mountains, which Glen Morangie actually owns. I've had this argument with people online. They own that forest. They then more or less rent their casks to Heaven's Hill and um, Jack Daniels, and then ship. The, then those used bourbon casks are then shipped to Scotland. They what else can I tell you? They air dry their 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 uh, their wood for the, instead of kiln drying it. And um, what else? They, oh, they're they're the best selling Scotch in the UK, and they produce about ten million bottles per year and about six to six and a half million of that stays in the UK. So this is the tale of Tokyo. It's 40%, 46% ABV, natural color, no chill filtration. It cost right at hundred dollars. It was $99 plus tax. So it's like 108 is what it ended up costing me. It's a marriage of bourbon, sherry, and Mizunora casks. We use bourbon, new sherry, and I think the virgin Mizunora oak. And a Mizanor Oak. I've done a couple Mizanor. I talk a lot about Mizanor Oak here. I'll even show the same picture I've shown in the other two. I think I did a Chivas Brothers and a, uh, what was the other one? I did a Mizanor Oak. Uh, oh, Glendalock, which was fantastic. Great. That, that's kind of made me fall in love with the, the, the Glendalock 13. The 7 is not so great. They're both in Mizanor. But the 13 that was done in Mizanor, best Irish whiskey I think I've, one of the best Irish whiskeys I've ever had. And I got to remember getting a very cedary note in that, so um, which surprised me because I didn't know that I'd get a cedar out of an oak, but that's uh, maybe the I don't know, but anyway. So, Mizanor oak's very difficult to work with, the trees grow very twisty, kind of like you know, maybe that's where Home Depot gets their, their boards from. I don't know, just kidding, uh, but the oak is also very, very porous, it's hard to work with. Literally, they've had. Uh, history of opening a cask and it being empty because it just leaks. Uh, they, they're, they're very porous. They leak. They're you know the wood's hard to deal with. So and it, it takes a long time to grow it. So you don't see a lot of things in Mizanora oak. But this so yeah, that's probably why Glenmorangie has been around for this long and never done Mizanora oak before. Like I said, I've only had the Glendalock and the Chivas Brothers. Were probably the only two I think I've had in a Mizanora oak. Uh, a lot of there are some Japanese whiskeys. I don't know that I've had any that were in Mizanora, but so anyway, enough of that. So let me show it to you in the bottle. 
There you go. It's a pretty color. It is natural color. This is no age statement. So that's it in the glass. I will go ahead and roll it. No, I won't. A little heavy pour. Kind of knew that when I put it in there. So um, the box here is was done by some famous Japanese artist. I don't know. I don't think his name is on here. I remember reading about it somewhere. But anyway, so this is the box. You can see this is kind of like a scene from Tokyo Corner um, on there. And what else can I tell you? It doesn't really do anything for me, but anyway. So anyway, Tilo Tokyo, marriage of, of whiskey aged in Mizunora bourbon and cherry casks. A whiskey full of delicious contradictions as Tokyo itself. Nothing on the hair. Limited edition, all of the places he has visited. Tokyo is a favorite of our globe-trotting whiskey creator, Dr. Bill. Every moment in this city of contrast calls to his series as he steps from peaceful garden to a bustling street to a vibrant city bar. To celebrate his many sides of Tokyo, he matured Glenmorangie and cask made from Japan, sought after Mizunora oak, aromas of slowly smoking incense curl around sweet toffee bursts of pepper counter bright bitter cherries then fresh orange this which you'd expect with glen orangey most of their stuff has a lot of orange uh fades into almond flakes and sweet oak okay that's really it that's the same thing on the back of the bottle so okay i will roll this one more time and we're going to give it a nose Definitely get the orange, the citrus, as I would expect from Glenmorangie. I get some vanilla, probably from the from the bourbon casks. A little bit of honey, which is kind of typical for I'm running out of juice on my phone. Typical for uh, Glenmorangie also. Honey, citrus, vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of that oak. That that um, as again, like I described, like a cedar that I got with a Glendalock. A little bit of that, but not not like I got with the Glendalock. But I think that was fully matured. I think this this is just a marriage. So wouldn't expect it to be overpowering. So so I, well, I guess maybe a little. I would say, hmm, I, I, I would say nutty, but I'd say almonds. Pretty balanced, you know, I get this balanced sweetness, this balanced, you know, citrus fruit, I get balanced, you know, spice with a vanilla. I don't get the cinnamon that I normally get with Glen Morangie's offerings, but do get, yeah, more of that oak, that, that cedary Mizanora coming in. Very sweet. I don't, of course, it is only 46%. So, all right, let's see what we get on the palate. Ooh, nice chocolate, vanilla, citrus, honey. That oak is coming through. Not so cedary as the other Mizanoras I've had, but definitely the oak. A little bit, little bit of cedar, but really, yeah, nice, sweet. That honey comes through. The citrus, chocolate, vanilla. I mean, maybe there's a little bit of cinnamon in there, but not not very much. More nutty. Very good. It said pepper, didn't it? And I don't get the pepper either. I thought, yep, it said pepper. I don't really get much pepper. 
Okay, more nuts now than I got before. More of that almond, honey, less of the citrus, more vanilla, less chocolate. Yeah, very good. Yeah, getting getting that 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 Glenmorangie honey for sure. Nutty. Honey, nuts and honey, chocolate, some vanilla, yeah. Okay. Now I'm getting a little bit of the pepper. Our pepper comes through. It's not that's not overpowering though. A little peppery. Some cinnamon on the finish. Like cinnamon and almonds on the finish. Front palate, I get pepper and orange and citrus and some honey. Then mid palate is this creamy vanilla chocolate oak. And then finishes with this pepper almonds and some of that oak. Comes, sticks through on the on the palate. It's good. Um, Hundred dollars, good. Yeah, I, I think that's appropriate for this. You're not going to find a lot of stuff in Mizanar Oak. Uh, like I said, ever had since I had that Glendalock, I've been in love with it. Um, and other than Japanese whiskey, which I don't really drink a lot of Japanese whiskey, I don't have a lot of options for Mizanar. Trying to think of what else I have. Just those two, I think. And they were both good. I enjoyed both of those. Particularly since I got the Chivas for like 15 bucks. I don't, that had to have been, it was obviously mismarked. Okay. I like this probably out of that, out of the other ones. It's, I don't like this as much as I like the Tale of Cake, but I like it better than the Tale of Winter and certainly better than the Tale of the Forest. I didn't really, that just didn't, that wasn't my vibe. So, um,. I do like this more than I like this more than I thought I would. I did not really ex have high expectations for this, uh, just because it's a marriage and not as, as much Mizanora. Kind of felt like I was worried that they were doing too much, but I think I do. Overall, I do like this. Would I go eight? I would keep this on my shelf. I will drink it all. Clearly, I only bought one bottle. This is the only bottle I bought. Normally I buy multiples just because I know it's a limited edition. I don't know what the tale of next year will be, but I like this. I'm feeling generous today, so I'm going to go 8 out of 10. I don't know I've done 8 in a while, but um, this is good. I, I would recommend this. It's not ridiculously priced, I don't think, and it's well-balanced. I think they did a great job of balancing it. It's not overpowering in any aspect. Got some sweetness, got some fruit, got some oak, got some spice with that pepper and the cinnamon. You got that sweetness with the with the honey, uh, and you got the fruit in there with the typical citrus of Glenmorangie and the chocolate and vanilla spice too. Yeah, so I, I think this is well done. I I like this for different reasons than I like, but I I'm I'm, I'm going with the eight. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.